Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to Kitty Powers Love Life, where we are talking with Kitty herself. Right now, we get to finish up this town, but not actually leave this town, because we love Lower Sacklock, and, you know, we need to, uh, stick around here to, uh, make sure that things work out and all that. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to the mall. Why not? Let's, let's just... Let's just have the, the mall be where the assessment happens. We'll do it ASAP. So that'll be great, and by that I mean 8 a.m. tomorrow. Bright and early, so we get to deal with this in the next episode, and then keep trying to get some couple level ups this week. Oh my goodness, did I forget to tell you that Jonas was gonna prop- No. I meant to tell her. Poor Shannon, she probably doesn't trust me anymore. <laughs> Alright, you guys, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about talking? Yeah, we're talking about talking. Uh, you got wow, you guys have talked about everything. I'm so proud of you guys. Let's talk about hairstyle, why not? Hairstyle's great, right? Good hairstyle, very good hairstyle. Your hair's a good hairstyle, very good hairstyle. Alright, good. Uh, yeah, just get out of here, you two. Uh, wh what a great conversation that was. I love these uh, fulfilling, deep conversations that we can have about how each other's hairstyles are great. Just great. Eliza's going to come out to Evangeline. Hopefully it's going to crash and burn. And then we can set her up to actually come out to, you know, someone appropriate. I think Evangeline's going to hate this. And then I just need to be good at... Oh no! What? How could that have happened? Now I need to be really good at pinball! Hope I'm not bad at pinball- I'm gonna be so bad at pinball. Like, just watch me just lose. Oh, I thought that was 100% going straight down the middle. I was like, no, no, no. I didn't actually mean it. I really would, uh, appreciate- <laughs> I really would appreciate, you know, winning at pinball. Come on. Just hit it. Just hit it. No. Okay. No. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Pinball, please. Perfect. No. Are you for real right now? <gasps> oh, it's so scary. Just, yes. <laughs> just, just hit the pinball. Okay. Whew. That was close. Nothing to worry about. Please, you guys don't trust me to play pinball. I played enough Space Cadet pinball on Windows back in the day to, uh... No sweat. No sweat! <laughs> oh my goodness. Message received. So that should be good. A little bit on every mission. So we either need to save another pair of residents or do three more level ups. I think we've got a good chance to do both. Bentley has something he would like to talk to me about. Is he the one who's newly level 3? Because that might be repression. I would love it. Oh, and I should bring Eliza in and, uh, you know, actually solve her repression. That would probably be real swell. She might appreciate me doing that, honestly. So, we'll think about it. I uh, suppose... Got something going on at the shopping mall. What could it be? What would we schedule at the shopping mall at 8 in the morning? <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. So, uh, we're going to just try and feed Kitty all the information she needs. Agent Clapnook and Agent Netherherd. That's really good. Okay. Now, I am a little concerned because of like, what if I, what if, what if I don't know the answers? Like, what happens? I have yet to fail this game and I really don't want to, in a way. Okay, so, village and residence. Historical statistics, past and present. So, I definitely want village first, I think. Because I think the people are the part that I'm much better set up to remember because you know give them like fun names a little bit of personality 
some of them at least, like Arya, I think that was her name. Okay, 122 days, not bad. 23 couples have lived here. First question, how many successful proposals have you helped with? Well, it's probably not 36. It's probably a bit more than 10. Let's go with 21. Okay, good. 21 out of 23 is pretty good. That's just the two new ones that we haven't done yet, so... How many friendships have been established in Lower Sacklock? Eighty-nine. Okay. Okay. I was like, one hundred fifty-one is way too high. That's like seven per person. <sighs> My goodness. Actually, no, it'd be forty-six people, but it still worked out. Job interviews, not a lot. I bet twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. I don't do job interviews very often. How many times have my residents lied and gotten away with it? I feel like also not a lot. So thirty-three would be my guess. Okay, sweet. Which location do the residents of Lower Sacklock enjoy visiting the most? This is a problem because these places don't even exist anymore. None of them. I don't think cinema. I don't think we've had a cinema in Lower Sacklock. Museum or sports field? I'm going to go with the museum? Really? The cinema? Which was the most popular wedding venue here? Uh, sports field. It's a shop shopping mall? Museum, again, was going to be my second choice. Wow, this is scary. Okay, Netherherd. Help me out here. Which of these couples had the most attempts at upgrading their relationships? So, uh... Oof. Billy and Connor left early but that might work against them simon and mary we had them for a while and i feel like i remember one or two instances where they failed which of these residents had the most problems oh is it melissa i remember comparing you to aria <laughs> And then I think after that it would have been Gary Handstand because, you know, he got a nickname for a reason. Which of these current residents is interested in retro pinups? Cohen, I think? Because I tried to set him up with a vintage person, but he hadn't met a vintage person, I think. Which of your current residents is happiest? Shannon just leveled up. Probably not her. I feel like Evangeline... Because didn't we like just talk to her? I don't know. Which of these couples were- this one should be easy. It's Maximus and Barney! Like we know Melissa was here and then- ah, oh, Riss and Lily. Maximus and Barney? We've never had someone with detached uh, 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 sideburns? Don't be ridiculous. Which of these couples broke up? Billy. Billy and I talked about it earlier. <laughs> Okay, see, this is why I do village first. Village stuff is hard, but, like, I can remember the people pretty surprisingly well for me, honestly. It's a wheel of destiny. That's one thing that I've always loved about the Kitty Powers games. This game definitely more than Matchmaker, just because of how short Matchmaker is, like, per game, but, like... Well done, really, all they have like that that truly differentiates them, I would say, are interests and talking patterns. Because yeah, they have different personalities, but you don't really see personalities outside of like occasionally, like a prompt will have you choose one or the other. So it's like I I don't think I'm fair to say. When, okay, appearance, interests, and talking patterns are like the three that set them apart. But like. <laughs> There's a lot of personality in this game for just having those things. Like, it's it's pretty cool, honestly. Like, I'm super impressed with that. And uh, if there is a next Kitty Powers game, which I sincerely hope there is, I would very, very much love to see, like, the... Almost the storytelling aspect uh, upped a little bit more. Um... Like I really appreciate being able to have like timelines for these. I think it's I think it's really cool. Okay. I'm not ready. I I don't I don't want to leave just yet, but I'll keep that in mind. We'll stick to our level 20. It will be sweet. 
Okay, good. That's that's a happy ending, really, you know? I'm glad that I haven't failed that one yet. I wonder, like, would it kick me back down to level 19? Would I just need to try again? Would there be any repercussions at all, quite frankly? Yeah, let's go row out into the middle of the lake. Why not? That'll be super fun. Later on. Oh, he's so happy. Look at how happy Isaac is. Wowee! Okay, you want to give me a two-star gift? I would appreciate it. A lot. Uh, no. That's just another can of worms. That's like three in a row. At least give me the fishing rod, please. Please. No dice, though. No dice. Okay, keep moving forward. I believe I'm good to delete this now. They'll stop drinking champagne, but I don't really care about them. I don't want people showing up there anymore. Problem with the nightclub has been fixed. That's nice. I love when problems have a happy ending. <laughs> Very good. Okay, remote camera initializing. Wow, I, have I even seen those questions before? Like the, which was the most popular wedding venue? I don't know. Let's just do this. Why not? Uh, much further to the left than down a bit. It really just leaves this one. I, I guess it could have been that one too, but... I'll take it. Why not? That game's a good one to cheat on because it's uh, a little bit difficult sometimes. Um, if you get like the gray area, you're like, I don't know if much further is two spaces or three. Isaac now needs our help at the shopping mall. Please. Continue having these location panic events. I live for them. Because oh, it's just gossip. Never mind. Um, I do know Clayton? What do I think? It's a good bushy mustache. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mustache suits him. Mustache suits him. I'm glad that we could agree on this. That's awesome. Everyone loves a good mustache. Quite frankly. Isaac is ready to move forward. That's awesome because obviously we want to move forward. Oh, and Steven too! Steven too. That's awesome. That's, I appreciate this because this is just getting me, you know, more and more likely to get the uh, four couple level ups. And then we can just duck on out of here, which will be Thwail. Because uh, as much as I love Lower Sacklock, I love finding out the names of towns even more. I want to get one more town in here before we dip. Ooh, ooh. You guys line up on one for four. My goodness, you guys are not doing so well. I'm glad I already invited him in. Because otherwise, like, if I hadn't gotten that message yet, he'd be like, you know what, I don't really think that the moving forward with our relationship is really the right move. And I'd be like, well, that's a darn shame because I want you to do that anyways. Clayton has a thing. Okay, so we can replace exotic ornaments. Hello? There's a lot of people here. Who invited you all? Let's talk about your problems. All right, well, I know what one of them is. Is it this one, though? Yeah, inner glam tendencies, you don't say. It's come out to someone. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to do level ups at all. Uh, problem with your partner? Should have seen that coming. Oh well. Is it friends also? Yeah. Okay, so it really could have been both of these. That would have been hilarious. Uh, what can we do about it? Make a compromise. Uh, just wait for me. I'm not gonna do it. Because I, I have a good feeling that this coming out is going to fail, and then I just need to play some pinball. And I think, as we learned earlier in this episode, I'm really good at pinball, so no worries on that front. We'll be a-okay. Okay, waiting for a new activity to be set up. Uh-huh. Hmm. That's all. I, my mind literally went blank there. 
was really weird. Okay, you want a good self-repression thing? I guess we can have you come out to uh, Bentley, who is more likely to appreciate it, which is fine. We can find out today, you know, whether it happens or not. Okay, that's all for now. And Isaac. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in, Isaac. I have a feeling we're not gonna be here. So why waste our time here, right? I don't care about these people. If they want to give me a panic event out of location, I will gladly take it. But I think Cohen's going to come out to Isaac and Isaac's gonna hate it. If he doesn't, I'll just invite uh, that other person back in. Was it? It was Isaac, I think. I see what glam types. Whoa! How do you not like my inner glam types? Okay, let's hope this one goes a bit better. I would rather it not be so harrowing. This is a better start already. You know, bonus points if I can get um, the jackpot, but jackpot not required. I got the hardest ones, I would say, which is the top ones. See, because then you just do that, and you're all good. Just like that. And we are out of lower sack lock. We just need to make sure, we need to really make sure that we do not do couple level ups until Monday, Monday, Monday. I wanted to do Sunday, but it would not have worked. Hey, bud. Bye, bud. We're good. We're good. Lower sack lock. It's been a pleasure, but we're wiping our hands of you. It's a little off camera. I think I needed to do over here. It's just afraid of hitting my microphone, quite frankly. Right? Why not? Show me the weekly results. This will be fine. Bonus points if you want to give me the gift and give me new missions. That'd be interesting if it did that. I feel like it shouldn't, but it might. I forgot to turn on my light, and it's starting to get dark out there. I got 15 more minutes. Don't get too dark, all right? Okay. Hopefully because it's like barely through the week, we won't have anything negative and this will only help us. Fine, kitty. Oh, it's just reoccurring problems? That's acceptable. We can deal with that. Okay, so plus 22, uh, it's enough to maybe get us to stay in green. It'll be close. No, just How brilliant. Oh, hey, I did do it. Albert from the lake. Okay, so we'll, we'll actually get new missions in our next town? And that's gonna be awesome! Fishing net, got that. Because you know what that means? We get to try again. Bye-bye, village. Bye, Lower Sacklock. Um, I would say I'm sad to see you go, but that took a turn for the better. I didn't think it would give me a gift. I don't think it should, but Welcome where are we? Village. South Petworth. You're thinking. This place looks like a dump. Your words, not but mine. I know you'll be able to make it into another thriving love village. That's Everything how I do. Is at oh. your disposal. So turning this place around will be a doddle. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's, you know, let's set stuff up. Middling mansion? Space. Let's see. What's the best way to do this? Um, not like that. Can I, do I have other options? Uh, that'll be fine. We can work with that. Whoops, that's you too. Well, we'll need that too. Mm -hmm. So we might as well. We'll put them right at the entrance of the town, you know, right where our bustling uh, downtown district is. Booyah, right there. Locations. Nope, not that. House. We're still doing houses. Uh. Let's just build them along the main boulevard. I think that'll be kind of cute. Why not? They might be a little far away, so people won't as easily make friends with their, you know, neighbors. But really, that's not what I'm going for in this one. In this one, I just need, really, one off? Okay, it's gonna be a one lane. One lane town. It's gonna be great. 
Ah. Okay, let's build you. Oh, right there. No, don't put that. Can I delete that? <gasps> no, not what I wanted. Oh, I should have left that there. Oh, well. Uh -huh. Put you like that. And then build. Can I fit it in? Let's see. So I need the shopping mall. <gasps> it won't fit. I can't fit two of them. Let me see. Let me see. You. Hold on. Delete you. Okay. Um, location. Shopping mm. mall. See, don't do that. Yeah, do that. I love it! Yeah. Booyah! Now that's using our space efficiently. We do not have a salon. We'll bring that back if we need it. Ooh. I think the salon will be a tad bit more important. Okay, info. Missions! Oh, okay, so we actually still have these. That's gonna be interesting. I wonder. Can't fast forward if you don't have couples, I guess. I wonder. Sheik and Glam is really what we're going for. Um, like these would probably be good enough. That's close enough to Sheik and Glam. Let's put you in, because apparently I can't fast forward unless I have people. But I wonder. I wonder, Kitty, if you're watching this, this, it's getting really dark. This might be something we need to look out for. One couple. I just moved towns. I don't care what they do. I did. Uh oh, love juice? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I love her hair. <gasps> That's fabulous. Very good. Okay, I'm going to see if I can abuse the system. I got seven minutes to do this. It'll be sweet. It will be sweet. They're like not even... Alright, fine. We can find out who our couple is. Casey, Melanie, and... John Lovemaker? Oh, baby! Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I love everything about this. Also, I feel like my webcam is dropping. Like, I need to slouch a bit more. I don't love the fact that... The game is stuck on this loading screen. What's my phone buzzing about? Don't love that. Don't love that. Let's kill it. Don't know what caused that. That's a little strange. We'll open it back up. E. Continue. It loaded a lot faster, I would assume, because I have a much smaller save file. Okay, they're still here. It's Thursday. You know what? Let's not help them out. Okay, we should buy this. No! It must not generate your people until the first time you use them in a town. So not just when the town is made, but the first time they are required in a town. I miss our wonderful blue-haired salesperson already. She was so nice. So kind. Why'd we stop? Why are we stopping? I don't care. I don't care. We got John Lovemaker in the town. I, I so wonder if I can pull this off, because uh, I think I noted it once before, like, either your missions need to reset, or you cannot get a gift. I'll do this. Or you cannot get a gift on that, um, that midweek one when you leave a town, because that's no good. 
Okay, free deal of the day. This guy looks all right. He looks pretty swell. Ooh, two corkscrews for the price of one. Alex, head of sales. All right. Uh, yeah, you can't resist that. We love having two corkscrews for when you got to open two bottles of wine at once. If you give me the two-star gift, that will be for it. Come on. Come on. But hey, I know I'm going to call this episode two for the price of one if this works out. Let me just make sure I have the right two areas because that would be a little silly. I'm pretty sure we got the lake. Business center and shopping mall. So we got the Newton's Cradle. I have no idea what that could be. No idea what that could be. Like, what do you get from a mall? I don't really care. We'll deal with that once we get people in here. Pfft, stop stopping me. We're fine. I just want to get through Sunday in this episode. Are they posting anything to the kitty feed? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, they got wind chimes there, okay. Nothing better to do. Doesn't really like the shopping mall. I was hoping our arty type might appreciate the business center or something, but I don't know. Hey, it's his uh, prerogative. Either way. Honestly, I could just let the game run like this, quite frankly, because all I need is for them to, you know, the more of these events I can get through, the better. We could have Casey Melanie and John Lovemaker be our only people here. Okay, Macy, our financial advisor. Thanks, Macy's, for telling me how to spend my money. Probably not at your store. It's so dark. It, the sun is going down. Well, he was in the green, and he is no longer in the green. It's a little bit of shame. He, we also didn't get a gift, so that's no good. Okay, keep moving forward. If you guys want to have location-based panic events, please be my guest. I won't stop you guys. All right, it's Sunday. This is the moment of truth. Like I said, we needed to make sure we do not do four couple level ups before this week's end. Okay, yeah. I'll help you out at the shopping mall any day of the week. If this gives me the two star, oh my goodness. I don't know how I would handle with this being like the finale. Oh, more corkscrews! Can we please? I don't need any more corkscrews. Yeah, I know, right, Casey? Because you already did this. Okay, two star. Mobile food top adventure. Oh my goodness! I don't, I don't, I don't know. What do I do with my hands? John Love make. I mean, okay, Casey's doing all the hard work here because he's the one getting all the panic events, it seems, but. He knows, he knows. Okay, get on out of here, buddy. Leave. Leave. Hey, buddy, leave. Thank you. Demolish that. We had our perfectly utilized town just before. Partner panic events. <laughs> no, 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 no. Worst case scenario, my plan doesn't work, and I just gotta keep playing until we get the two star from the business center. But if it works, we get to see Kitty twice this week and get another gift off of the same missions. Oh, Salon gives me, I didn't realize Salon gave me money, sweet. That's it, that's it, nothing. I did nothing, I'm like, hey, that's fine. Give me 218 gold. Yes! This week's gift is Macy! Oh, Give nice. me that. Is it called Newton's Cradle? It's Newton something. Or just Newton's Balls? Something like that? Oh, you know, it's an executive desk toy. Ah, uh, it's not right, but it's okay. Collect all the two star gifts. Do I get the last one? I mean, I did. Uh. Ready for another week. Yep, okay, special missions, seven panic events, full makeover, 350 coins for the weekly inspection. That's all fine and dandy, but hey. Steam still says I have all the other achievements locked. I'm like, I don't think I do, Steam. 
Like, you literally tell me I have 29 out of 30 unlocked, and the only one I don't have is get all the other achievements. But I have! I literally have! No! Please give! Oh no! Do it, why not? But please, give me the mission or the, the achievement! I really want to. <laughs> okay, rather not do that again, but that's fine. Watch, she's gonna give me an executive desk toy. Nope, okay, business cards, that's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Thanks, Macy, for your generosity. I... I don't know what to do to get the last achievement. Unless it knows that I didn't actually get one of the achievements, the one that saved ten couples from the brink? Like, oh, I'd rather not. Oh, I'd rather not. Oh, no. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm gonna tweet at Kitty. I'm gonna tweet at Kitty, see what happens. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until... Maybe next time on Kitty Power's Love Life, where I might just need to destroy relationships? Goodbye.